Hi guys, this is Sadek from Gradient.com and in this video, we'll show you how to change the boot animation on your Android phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you have to root your phone via Magisk, either via the Magisk patch boot IMG or the Inlet boot. So refer to my guide and make sure to root your phone via Magisk. I have already done that. Now comes the most important part. Your phone or your system should be RW. That is, it should be both read and write supported. If it's only read supported, then you will only be able to view the file in the system partition. You will not be able to make any changes to the system partition files. So it should be RW both. By write, we mean that it should be we should be able to make changes, modify the files in the system partition. Unfortunately, most of the stock firmware or stock ROM nowadays are only read supported, and it's quite difficult to make it RW. While if your phone is rooted, you could make it RW by making some changes to the Super partition, but it's quite risky and quite complicated as well. And just for the sake of changing a boot animation, I will not recommend carrying out the entire task. But if you want to take the risk, then you could do so. You could refer to me this guide and make the system partition read write. So let me show you what exactly I mean by read and write. So for that, I have two phones. In this phone, I am running a custom ROM. Yes, so if you if you don't want to take this complicated route of making changes to the system partition by this guide and making a new super partition you could simply flash a custom rom nowadays most of the custom rom are rw so that you could easily access the system partition and make changes to the required file so as of now that is why i'm using a custom rom which is the lineage os and there are many custom rom which are rw you could easily verify the same by trying to make just a small change in the system partition file any file will do so let me show you in this case i'm running a custom rom and first and foremost, you have to install a file manager which supports root. So as of now, I'll be using the solid file manager. So let me first install this app. You could install this app from Play Store. So let's install this app. And for the setup, it this app shows ads as well. And you will have to be online for the first time to view some ads. But as of now, this is the best app in case of rooted explorer. So that is why I use this app. So open this app, allow it to access the file manager app and now tap on the hamburger icon, then tap on root and you will now get a magic prompt. So tap on grant and with this we have got the magic request. So now let's move over to the directory where the boot animation file is present. So it could be in either system media on some phones or it could be under product media. So I am currently using a lineage OS phone, lineage OS ROM on OnePlus 70. And in my case, it's under product media. So since th this custom ROM supports read and write both. So let me show you how to carry out this task of making some changes to verify. Let me now go to the product partition and let me show you the product. So under root, you have to go to product and there you could go to the media. And the boot animation dot zip is the boot animation. Let me focus it. So the boot animation dot zip is the boot animation file which you see when it loads. If there are any other file over there, simply ignore them file. Only the file which is named as boot animation dot zip, the system will only respect this file and use only this file. So as of now, this is the stock lineage OS boot animation zip file. So just try to do a rename. So let me just rename it uh, to B and tap on OK. And as you could see, in this case, the rename is successful. So this means that the lineage OS sub supports rw and it's both read and write let me now rename it to original so in other just some word in it and now let me show you one more phone in this phone this is the poco f4 let me bring my next phone so this is the poco f4 running the stock firmware so in this also it's currently rooted and let me now access the root partition so if i go to the root partition in case of poco f4 is located under system media so let me go to system and media and this is the boot animation now let me try and do a simple rename so let me add a b and tap on ok and as you could see the rename has failed in fact you will not be able to do any task inside inside the system partition let me copy and paste it over here and so as you could see the paste also failed so this is i am running a stock firmware miui build miui 14 android 13 the android version does not matter what matters is that your system should be rw so as you could see, this phone is not RW, it's only R. So you could easily read all the files present here, but you will not be able to make any changes. On the other hand, I'm using a custom ROM, 
which supports both RW. So please make sure to get your hand on a custom ROM that supports RW. Or if you are in a stock ROM, you could refer to my guide and make a system partition using the RO2 RW module. Make a new super partition and then flash it via Passboot or TWRP recovery. With that said, once you have made the system RW, you could proceed ahead and now you could download the boot animation of your choice. So let me now show you. So there is an XTA developer member, MAU AM, and he has made an excellent guide of quite a lot of boot animation. Let me show you his collection. It's over 200 boot animations. So from my guide, you could directly go to his boot animation collection and under each preview, there are around 8 to 10 boot animation and you could easily view all the boot animation. For example, this is the globe boot animation and this is the slice boot animation. So this is just the first preview and similarly, you could see it has over 11 previews over here. Simply, you could go to any preview, then expand the preview section and under the preview, you will get around 8 to 10 more boot animations. So for the sake of reference, I will be using two boot animations. The first one I am using is an ROG boot animation. So for the ROG boot animation, let me show you. It's under preview 4. So it should be this one. So let me verify once. So first off, I will show you how to flash this ROG boot animation. And next up, I will be using a Google boot animation. And the Google boot animation is present inside the 11th preview so let me go here and let me show you that as well just a minute i click so sorry for the delay just a minute let me go to the 11th boot animation and the google boot animation that i'm using is known as google style so secondly i'll show you how to flash this boot animation as well so as of now we'll flash two animation the rog and the google boot animation and after that, I'll show you how to go back to the stock boot animation as well. So with that said, let's get started. First and foremost, you have to download the boot animation. It will be in a zip format. So go to this download here folder. And from here, it's in a Google Drive. You could use the search bar or the control F and then search for the de desired boot animation of your choice. So I already made the download. So for example, the Google boot animation is known as Google style. You will have to load it. So has to load the boot animation let me load the file once so it might take some time so make sure to load all the boot animations and then let's search once again so as you could see this is the google style and i'm using this one and similarly i'll be using an rog boot animation so make sure to download the required boot animation and transfer them onto your phone as of now simply transfer it in the internal storage so let me show you in the internal memory i have two boot animation one is the google signal boot animation and the next one is the rog so first off let's try to install the google signal boot animation but before moving ahead let's take a backup of the current boot animation so go to the folder where you, you have installed the current boot animation it will be either system media or the product media in my case it's the product media so tap on the overflow icon and go to the root directory then go to the, your directory where there is boot animation and now in my case, the boot animation dot zip is the actual boot animation. So let's take a backup for that. You could either copy and, and paste it somewhere or an easier approach will be to simply rename it. So long press it, then tap on the pencil icon and let's rename it to backup. Let's add the backup keyword and tap on OK. So with this, we have got the backup of the current stock boot animation. And now first and foremost, let's transfer the boot animation of the Google signal boot animation. So let's rename it over here. So, or you could simply copy it. So copy the Google Signal Boot Animation and now you have to transfer it to the directory of the stock boot animation, which in my case is the product media. In your case, it could be the system media as well. So let's now access the root directory. So to access the root directory, we might have to do a workaround. Okay, so you could do one thing. In a turn on auto rotate and now rotate your phone. And with this, you will get two directories as you could see over here so let me show you this way and now from the first directory we have copied the boot animation in the second directory tap on the hamburger menu and select root and now you go to the directory where you have installed boot animation folder so go to that directory in my case is the product and then it's the media directory so go there and simply 
hit the yellow paste icon and then tap on allow and with this we have pasted the boot animation in the root directory so we could now turn off the auto rotate and now what you have to do is rename the google signal boot animation or whatever you have boot animation to simply boot animation dot zip because the os only identifies the boot animation by boot animation dot zip format so tap on this and then tap on ok and with this we have now got the boot animation dot zip which will act as our new boot animation so let's verify the same so let me now restart my phone and upon restart it should now the boot animation should now be changed and we should now get the google pixel boot animation or rather the google boot animation if that does not happen then there is one more step which is left to do but nowadays the os takes care of that but in if your case that does not happen then i will show you one more step that you have to do and that involves changing the permission but in my case as you could see the animation is already there so the permission has been taken care of by the os so this is our new boot animation the google signal boot animation that we have just used if in your case it's if it's still showing the old boot animation then it's not an issue let me show you one more step now you have to change the permission of that boot animation and then it will work i should have told that before itself so sorry for the inconvenience but let me show you now what you have to do because in most cases the os automatically changes the permission but if it does not happen in your case then let me show you what you have to do so simply launch the file manager app which is the solid file manager app now again go to the root directory then go to the folder where you have pasted the new boot animation so in my case the boot animation is the new boot animation the google animation so long press it then tap on the overflow icon and select properties then go to the attribute tabs and make sure that you have the rwrr as you could see from here rwrr or in, in other words the owner should have the rw permission whereas the group and global should only have the r and r so owner is having both the read and write whereas the group and global should have only the read permissions i have also written the same in my guide you could refer to my guide as well so it should be rwrr once you have done that hit the apply button at the bottom right, bottom right and then restart your phone this time around you should now see the boot animation so now let me now remove this boot animation and let's try out one more boot animation so this boot animation has been gone let me now again go to my internal storage then let's now access the rog boot animation do keep in mind that the size of the boot animation if it's larger then it might take some additional seconds to boot the google was only of 2.4 mb whereas the rog is of 9 mb so it will take somewhat longer so that's not an issue simply copy this once you have copied it again re enable auto rotate and now let me rotate my phone and with this we have got two partition in the second partition tap on the hamburger menu and select root then go to your boot animation directory which in my case it's product then it's media and tap on the yellow icon and it's now pasted so we could now turn off auto rotate and so it's now there so now you have to re rename the new boot animation to simply boot animation dot zip so let me do that as well so let me remove the rest of the stuffs and it's now boot animation dot zip now again let's check the permission so long press it then tap on the overflow icon and select properties now go to attributes and make sure you have the rwrr as you could see from here the owner has got both the r and w whereas the group and global have got the r and r permission if that is not the case then check mark the required permission and then tap on apply once you have tap on apply all you have to do is simply restart your phone so let me now tap on the restart and with this our phone should now reboot with the rog boot animation so let's verify the same and check out the result it might take a little bit longer if because the boot animation was somewhat heavier as compared to the google one but that's not an issue so let's check out the result and it should now start up the rog so as you could see it's the rog boot animation which we are getting here so guys with this i have shown you both the google boot animation as well as the rog boot animation and now let's now revert and show you the final step of this video on that is how you could revert back to the stock boot animation which came with your phone so in my case i'm using the linear joys rom so i'll now show you how to switch back to the linear joys rom by now you might have got an idea as to how we will do this task but still let me show you once again 
how you could carry out this so let's just wait for the phone to boot up and it's now booted up so now again launch this solid file manager app now go to the root directory then go to the folder where we have transferred the boot animation where it's actually located and now what you have to do is simply delete the boot animation dot zip which in my case was the rog boot animation remove it and the backup boot animation should now be simply renamed to boot animation so remove the backup keyword from its name and tap on ok so it should not be just renamed to boot animation dot zip so this is now our stock boot animation let's just verify the permission as well so tap on the overflow icon and select properties and make sure it's go to attributes it should be rwrr if that's well and good then you just need to restart your phone so tap on restart and our phone should now restart with the lineage os boot animation so let me now verify the same and check out the result as well so it should take only a few seconds so to verify and then i'll round off this video if there are any issues we will see that as well so let me first check out the result if it's boot or not so it should now boot using the lineage os so as you could see it's the lineage os boot animation so guys in this video i show you how to change the boot animation and then come back to the stock boot animation first and foremost you have to root your phone by magic that is quite easy but the major task involves changing your system to rw from simply r on most stock firmware for example i have shown you on my poco phone as well the stock firmware are only r they are only read you cannot write any file to it so in, in other words you cannot make changes to the system partition file if you want to do so then you may you make use of my guide is quite complicated but i will try and make a video as well if you want do it but no you could make use of a module then you have to make a new super partition and then flash it is quite risky but if you want i'll make a video and then you could change the boot animation on the other hand a simpler upload approach will be to simply flash a custom rom in that case i have verified the lineage os is rw apart from that most of the common custom rom should also be rw once you have verified that the system is rw you now have to find the location where the boot animation is present it's mostly under system media or it's under product media you could also use the search bar and search for boot animation and it will take you to the location once you are inside there you have to go to this xga forum i've given the link in my guide and then download the required boot animation so you could verify the boot animation from here check out its name and download it from the google drive link all this has been given in my guide so download the boot animation file and transfer it inside the media directory over here and as you could see in one try you could only access either the root directory or your internal storage so you will have to enable auto rotate and then rotate your phone and then access both the directory this is the internal storage on on my left and this is the root directory on my right so whatever custom animation you download simply copy it from here and paste it here then before doing anything else make sure to back up your stock boot animation by simply re renaming it then copy the custom boot animation from here and paste it here and once you have done the pasting make sure to re rename the custom boot animation to simply boot animation dot zip this is because system only identifies the file which is named as boot animation dot zip once you have done that you then have to rename or rather change the properties to rwrr you could simply select the boot animation check the overflow icon and select properties and make sure to go to attributes and make it rwrr and then restart your phone and with this the boot animation will be changed so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching